Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So I created this smoky, purpley eye look for you. And if you want to see how I did this look, then just keep watching. Bye guys. All right, so I'm gonna apply these shadow shields right underneath my eyes just to keep the fallout from getting on the foundation that I already applied. Um, I'm gonna be applying my favorite eye primer. It is the MAC Paint Pot in Soft Ochre. And then going in again with the Morphe um, Dare to Create 39A palette. I'm also gonna set my uh, primer with the RCMA translucent powder. So I'm actually not using this shade. I'm actually using the one right to the right of it. And I'm just going to, I don't know why I just couldn't see <laughs> what I was doing. So I'm going in with a Sigma E25 blending brush and applying that right in the crease. So since I am doing a smoky eye, I'm just going to build the intensity of this shade. It's the same shade, it's called Transitional. And then I'm gonna go in with a shade called Passion and apply that also in the crease, starting off in the outer corner. I guess it doesn't really matter where you start because it's gonna go from outer corner all the way to the inner corner, evenly distributed. So same thing here, I'm just building up the intensity of the shade. I think it's called Passion if I didn't mention that already. The next shade I'm gonna be using on the lid is called Forever and I'm just packing that on with a shader brush. So I'm just stopping right at the crease because I'm gonna take another blending brush and just blend those two shadows together. So I just picked up some of that shade Passion and I'm just applying that in the crease, blending everything together so we don't have those harsh lines. So I'm just going to take a little bit of that shade bare and apply that right in the right above the crease, just where all of the shadows meet so that we don't have those harsh lines again. So now I'm just taking the shades Slice and Use and I'm just going to keep that right along the lash line to intensify that smoked out look. So now I'm just going to pick up some clay paint from Tarte Cosmetics in the shade black and apply that right along the lash line. I'm also going to go on top of this with the black shadow called Muse and smoke that out. So I'm just going to apply my favorite mascara at the moment. This is Man Eater from Tarte Cosmetics. I'm also going to put the name of the lashes that I used in the description box down below. Moving on to face, I'm going to conceal and highlight everything under my eyes, my uh, forehead, cupid's bow, and chin. I already applied my foundation and I'm using the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Foundation in the shade Medium 6. Now I'm going to blend everything out with my damp beauty blender. So I'm going to use the Morphe Brushes Concealer and Corrector Palette using this shade right here. Just applying that along my cheekbones, around the forehead to make it a little bit smaller, jawline to get rid of my double chin, and blend it out with a small stippling brush. So 
So after I'm done blending my cream contour, I like to just take the beauty blender and really press on the edges um, around the contour area so that it blends nicely into the foundation. And then I'm gonna set my whole face with my same powder that I used, RCMA No Color Translucent Powder. So to set the contour area, I'm going to go in with this bronzer. It's from BH Cosmetics. It's really beautiful and it has little tiny specks of like shimmer in it, but it's not too intense. So I'm just applying that along the cheekbones and forehead. Um, same place, like I said, where I apply the contour shades just to kind of warm up the face a little bit. And then I'm going to be going in with the BH Cosmetics blush. I forgot the name of it. I think it's called Bahama Mama, but I love it because it has like this duo um, blush color and it just kind of highlights at the same time. It's not matte, so you really have that nice hint of shimmer. And then of course I'm going to contour my nose. I love using this Tarte Cosmetics contour and highlight palette because the shades are perfect. They're not like too warm. They're kind of like on the cool tone side. Moving on, I'm going to be applying this black liner from Tarte Cosmetics right in the waterline and smoking out the lower lash line with the shadows that I use in the crease which is that black one muse and also with slice that dark purple one so of course you can't forget about the lashes I'm gonna use the same mascara because it really separates them and combs them and just makes them nice and long and luxurious and then I'm gonna add a highlight I'm gonna use the Becca cosmetics champagne pop from Jaclyn Hill and I'm applying it with a damp beauty blender because I think that using a damp beauty blender just really melts it nicely into the skin because it's nice and damp and then after that I'll just kind of fluff it out with the translucent powder so it's not so intense so moving on to lips, I'm going to be using the Morphe Brushes Lip Liner. These lip liners are so creamy. You can use them as a lipstick, which I'm going to do. I'm going to outline them first and then fill it in with this color. So just for some extra hydration, I'm going to go in with the Tarte Cosmetics Lip Lingerie Lipstick and then set my whole face with my favorite setting spray from Cover FX. Excuse me while I bathed myself in this. So that completes this look. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this smoky eye tutorial. Please give me a thumbs up, subscribe, and I will see you guys next time. Bye guys! Cause I